Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have seven bookish boxes to unbox for you. So stay tuned. So as I said, I have seven bookish boxes to unbox. Yeah. So six of those seven are unplugged book box. We have I believe three YA and three adult boxes and then one of the boxes is totally book crate. Um, there were a couple of boxes that she still owed me, the totally book crate lady, um, and I don't know if she just combined everything into one box to send it. Um, if it's the boxes from the past that she meant to send or her current boxes, I don't know. Um, so I wanted to start with opening that one first. It's a heavy box. So I'm guessing maybe she combined the two boxes that I was still supposed to get into one box. It's also not in her regular, um, subscription box box. Instead, it's just in a regular, uh, brown box. So that could be because, could be because she's, switching boxes or doesn't have any more of those boxes or it could just be that it's because she's packed all of mine into one thing and they won't fit into a regular box okay opening it up it looks like this let's see the, there's a letter here that says hello unicorn in case you didn't see our post on instagram or our facebook page i decided to change the box i had to change things to make it less stressful on me especially since i had two seizures back in january I absolutely love creating my boxes and didn't want to give up on my dream, so I had to find an easier way to put them together. Starting in April, your box will come with one book from the genre of your choice, an exclusive candle, one to two useful items, and a treat. The price was also lowered to $23 plus shipping. I will no longer be doing a monthly theme, however, I will still be including some of our favorite fandoms. I'm no longer shipping internationally. This might be temporary. However, I will continue to ship within the U.S. and Canada. Renewals will take place every 25th of the month. I am also taking subscriptions a month in advance, meaning if you purchase a crate after April 10th, you paid for a May crate, which will not ship until after May 20th. This also might be temporary. This decision was made due to previous delays and screw-ups, as well as our current situation with COVID-19. Keep in mind that we are experiencing unforeseen delays with books and items due to COVID-19. Although I ordered items in advance, some states have lockdowns, which forced some companies to close suddenly. Other companies we ordered from are also experiencing delays with getting their items as well. Please do not worry, as I will make sure to get your crates out as soon as all items are received. However, please bear with me as I navigate through these uncontrollable events. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. I pray that things get better and all can be back to normal. Stay magical, Jenny. Okay, so I'm I'm going to guess that this is just the one box. and Because um, she still had two to send me so maybe we'll get another box from her in the future oh I might be wrong because it looks like I have two different um, spoiler cards or spoiler letters so maybe everything's combined in here oh she also always put some like a little treat in there so we have some Swedish fish move the tissue paper out of the way and the first item is in this plastic bag here. Okay, it's very, like, silky. I'm guessing it's a scarf. Yes, it's this, it's a beautiful scarf. That's really quite nice. It's long. You can wrap it around. <laughs> and then we also have another thing in a plastic bag. It looks like a shirt. I used to be scared of it, but now I think love is another type of magic. 
It makes everything brighter. It makes people who have it stronger. It makes rules that aren't supposed to exist. It, it is infinitely valuable. Stephanie Garber. And it's a Caraval shirt. Oh good, I think it'll fit. Okay, yeah, I see here she did definitely combine the two boxes. Because I see more treats. We got some Oreos. And some little moon earrings. I will probably, well, I don't wear earrings. Um, and I also can't really wear a lot of fashion jewelry just because I'm allergic to a lot of metals. Uh, but these are cute. I'll probably put them in a giveaway or something. Then we have two different candles. The first one is Witch Doctor by Flicker Wicks. This one is Cedarwood, Amber, and Spices. It's just a little candle in a metal tin. Oh, it smells nice. It's like a woodsy kind of smell. And it's purple with like green and gold glitter. Then we have a little one here. It's uh, Salt and Sorrows. In a manner by the sea, twelve sisters are cursed. Um, it doesn't say a scent on it. It smells very like soap. And it's blue with like blue and silver glitter. Then we have a thing. I don't know. I think it's a keychain. Okay, this is really pretty. It's a, it's like Cinderella's carriage. It's very pretty. I like that. And yeah, it's a keychain. Or you also have like a little clip-on thing. I'll probably just set it on my shelf because I think it's pretty. And then we have like a rose gold pen with a little jewel and a crown. So, focus. The top looks like that with like a jewel inside. And it's just a little twisty pen. I like that. Okay, the pen writes. <laughs> Alright, then two books. They're both in one plastic thing together, so. Ooh, I saw gilded edges. Hold on. Okay, so the first book is not the one with the gilded edges, but the first book here is one I actually already own. It came in um, an owl crate box. I'm not sure what month that was. But I got sent House of Salt and Sorrow by Aaron A. Craig. Uh, but as I said, this one has, you can see the original cover. And here is the Alcrate exclusive cover. Which I actually think I prefer the Alcrate cover better. Um, and then the Alcrate one is signed. And this one is not. But they do have really pretty end pages. Uh, I think the outside is the same. And the end pages are also the same in the owl crate. Let me read you about this one. Yeah, there's not like a letter from the author. This says, Annalie lives a sheltered life at Highmoor, a manor by the sea with her sisters and her father and her stepmother. Once there were 12, but loneliness fills the grand halls now that four of the girls' lives have been cut short. Each death is more tra tragic than the last. The plague, a plummeting fall, a drowning, a slipping plunge, and there are whispers throughout the surrounding villages that the family is cursed by the gods. Disturbed by a series of ghostly visions, Annalie becomes increasingly suspicious that her sister's deaths were no accidents. The girls have been sneaking out every night to attend glittering balls, dancing until dawn in sil silk gowns and shimmering slippers, and Annalie isn't sure whether to try to stop them or to join their forbidden trysts. Because who or what they are really dancing with. Um, are they really dancing with? When Annalie's involvement with a mysterious stranger who has secrets of his own intensifies, it's a race to unravel the darkness that has fallen over her family before it claims her next. 
House of Salt and Sorrows is a spellbinding novel filled with magic and the rustle of glossomer skirts and down long, dark hallways. Um, this is, I think, a retelling of, like, the 12 dancing princesses, I do believe. Um, oh, yeah. It says it on the back of the, of the book. Um, but, yeah. I'll probably unhaul the one that came in this box just because I already have this one. And then the other one is the one with the gilded edges and not one that I already own. I've never actually heard of this one. It's Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. And it has like these gold, I don't know if they're necessarily gilded, but they are like sprayed edges. They have like a little shimmer to them. I wonder, I wonder if Jenny actually sprayed these edges herself or if uh, a company did it. I, I, because if you look inside the pages, you can see the bleed around the edges in the front. Which happens, I know, when you're spraying it yourself. It's hard to not make that happen. But there is a letter from this author, so I'm going to read what that says. Dear reader, I often wonder about my ancestors who were brought to America from West Africa, stripped of their freedom, traditions, and beliefs. What were their lives like before in a land that feels so far removed that I am a stranger on its doorstep? I exist because they persevered through the impossible, and for that I am eternally grateful. Some people say to leave the past behind, but the past is what shapes who we are. If we don't understand and acknowledge our history, we are surely destined to repeat our mistakes. I wrote Kingdom of Souls as a homage to my ancestors who lost much more than their freedom. I can never truly recover what was stolen from them or directly from me, but I wanted to write a story that not only embraces my heritage, but celebrates it. It celebrates its beauty, complexity, and magic. And in some small way, honors my ancestors who survived the impossible. It's my hope, dear reader, that you find some of that magic between the pages of this book. With regards, Rena Barron. Oh, uh, let's see. Because I didn't really gather what it's about from this letter. So I'll read this. It says, Born to a family of powerful witch doctors, Ara yearns for magic of her own, but she fails to read the bones, fails to see the future, and fails to call upon the ancestors. With each passing year, her ambitious mother looks upon her with ever-growing disapproval. There's only one thing Ara hasn't tried. Charlatans in the market trade years of their own lives for a taste of magic without knowing how many each ritual will take. That is a sacrifice Ara would never risk until the kingdom's children begin to vanish. When Ara trades her years for the magic to catch the child snatcher, what she uncovers is even more t more horrifying. The demon king, who the ancient gods imprisoned centuries ago, is stirring. If he awakens, his hunger for souls will bring Ara's world to its knees, unless she pays the price for the magic to save it. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Alright, cool. Stick that letter in here. So I I think that'll probably be the last thing I get from Totally Book Crate because I believe with that I'm probably all caught up. Okay, let me move one of these boxes up here out of the way and I'll open up one of the uh, uh, unplugged book boxes. I don't know the order of these boxes. I can't tell you which one's adult and which one's YA until I get them open because uh, They've decided to save money or something by just using these plain white boxes for now. I think she's in the middle of transitioning to a new box, but for now she has all these white boxes. Okay, so this one is the March 2020 Young Adult Box, and the theme is Know Your Limits. Okay, we have a lot of worms here, so I'm going to move some of those out of the way. Okay, here's what it looks like with all of those worms out of the way. Okay, the first thing I see here is this Geeky Girl Sense Unplugged Book Box Exclusive Neil Jostin 
a candle. It's leather, spices, and toasted oak. Looks like this. And it's orange. Ooh. With a silver glitter. It has like a, definitely has like a guy smell. I think it's the, the leather and spices. It looks like that. I'm not familiar with what book this is referencing. Oh, The Foxhole Court. I've heard people talk about that, but I've, I don't know anything about it. Uh, by Nora Sakavic. Uh, it says, Neil Johnston, from that, is constantly pushing himself well beyond his limits, which leads to a number of detrimental situations. This candle was made uh, exclusively for Unplugged Book Box. Okay. Oh, and they have an Etsy shop. Geeky girl scents. Okay, next up is uh, what looks like a sleep mask, but there's no strap, so I guess you just lay it on you. Uh, this says, the sky's the limit eye pillow. One thing we need to do is get more sleep and fend off headaches when they come on. The sky is the limit with this beautiful eye pillow designed and made by Lacey J. Boutique. And she also has an Etsy shop, which is Lacey, L-A-C-E-Y, the letter J, Boutique. It has like a, almost a, a little bit of a mentholated smell to it. I like it. Okay, then we have Love and Gelato. This is officially Lynette Pinbella. I can't, hold on, let me just take it out of this bag so I can see it more clearly. Lynette Pinbella de la Mia Vida. I don't know. It's a shower steamer. Lena from Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans. Welch faces a number of life-changing situations. After being forced to move to Tuscany, Italy, she has to test her comfort zone and limits in order to make the most of her situation. Uh, this is made by Nature, Natural Pure Honest. And if you use code UNPLUGGED, it saves at their Etsy shop. Okay, then we have something wrapped up real cute-like. I love when they wrap stuff up because it's like, yay, presents. Okay. Unplugged book box. Ellis Forest Herbs Maps and Figs by Gems and Jewel. Oh, it's a lotion. It says ingredients, shea butter, vitamin E oil, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera juice, and fragrance oil. Smells nice. Oh, yeah, just a lotion. Then something. Maybe a tote? Yeah, it's a tote. It says, fear is a phoenix. You can watch it burn a thousand times and still it will return. Lee Bardugo. And it's like almost a distressed red looking. Okay, we got a bunch of little card stuff. Uh, oh, so this is for the little eye pillow. Apparently this can be used hot or cold. Uh, you can put it in the microwave for 30 seconds on high. And continue in 10 second increments until you get the desired temperature. Or you can place it in the freezer for an hour. Then we have a bookmark here. Hope was a dangerous, disquieting thing. But he thought perhaps he liked it. And on the other side it says, It's not the world that's cruel, it's the people in it. And this looks like, I'm guessing, something from the Foxhole Court as well. So it looks like this. On the other side it looks like that. Then we have songs for your story. So we have our cool little playlist here. And the photo challenge on the back. I love these playlists. And then all about burnout. What is burnout? Symptoms of burnout. Stress or burnout. Causes of burnout. Recovering from and avoiding burnout. So it's like a whole little self-care thing. 
and a letter on the back that says, Dear Unplugged Friend, Please excuse my appearance this month after taking two polls, one via email and one on Instagram and Facebook. It was voted to switch to a simple basic box for the months of March and April, and possibly May. We'll also cross that bridge when we get there. Why Unplugged Book Box is in the process of securing new, bigger, sturdier custom boxes that are also recyclable and more eco-friendly. It is a time-consuming process, friends, but totally worth it. In the subscription box world, most box companies enforce a high minimum order quantity for box purchases. In an effort to not waste on overbuying the old Unplugged Boxes, because the newer boxes will be bigger, the old boxes may not fit some of the items planned for future months. You'll see this basic box in March and April. The good news is the box that came in is fully recyclable. Unplugged truly hopes that the outer appearance did not impact your unboxing experience. Custom boxes will return soon, promise. And yeah. Then we have our book. And again, it's wrapped. I love that. Ooh. I think I have this on my wish list. Uh, the, Midlight, the Midnight Lie by Marie Rutowski. And let's see. Oh, there is a signed book plate in here. It's green with silver font. There's also uh, a smaller version of this book bottle and the snakes and the flower is kind of embossed in the cover here. This says, where Nero lives, crime abounds, a harsh tribunal rules, and society's pleasures are reserved for the high kith. Life in the ward is grim and punishing. People of her low status are forbidden from sampling sweets or wearing colors. You either follow the rules or pay a tithe and suffer the consequences. Miriam keeps her head down and a dangerous secret close to her chest. But when she encounters Sid, a rackish traveler from far away who whispers rumors that the High Kith possesses magic, Sid tempts Niram to seek the ma that magic for herself. But to do that, Niram must surrender her old life. She must place her trust in this sly stranger who asks, above all, not to be trusted. Set in the world of the New York Times best-selling winners trilogy, this epic LGBTQ romantic fantasy is about learning to free ourselves from the lies others tell us and the lies we tell ourselves. Cool. The April uh, YA box is creativity. Okay, that's all that's in this box. Now we can move on to this next box here. Okay, before I move on to the next box, I need to change my battery because it's flashing, so be right back. Okay, sorry if there was an angle change. I hope that this battery will last long enough because, uh, well, this was, I have two, so I was using one and the other was charging because I killed it already and it didn't have a chance to fully charge so this is not a fully charged battery i don't know if it'll make it through the rest of these boxes because there's still five to go <sighs> okay on to this box here we go this is the march adult box which the theme is potential looks like this let me move some of these worms out of the way and i can show you again Okay, here we go. There's a lot of things wrapped in bubble wrap in this one. Alright. First thing I see looks like slime. I don't know if that's what it is, but it looks like slime. It's a uh, Red London Magic Cloves Orange. Oh, it's shower jelly. Oh, crap. Okay. It's very... Uh, I can't turn it to show you because on the top is very, very completely liquid but there we go it just kind of smells soapy wow i'm glad that didn't leak everywhere okay then we have something in bubble wrap it could be a candle but i don't know it's hard to tell it is a candle so it's cozy light candle company the bone the eating house and honey buns okay uh so apparently this is cinnamon and vanilla. And it's just a white candle. 
smells really good. I'm not sure what the bone is from. Marrow by Taryn Fisher tells the story of Margot, a young woman that lives in a decrepit neighborhood called The Bone. Throughout, Margot and her neighbor Judah dream of leaving The Bone behind to reach their full potential in the real world. Alright, and we have an Etsy shop as well. And then we have The Shire uh, Unplugged Book Box Caribou Premium Ara Arabia Haitian Coffee. Organic Coffee for Hobbits. Oh, and there's a 15% off code, coupon code BOX15 at caribrew, C A R I B B R E W dot com. Cool. I don't have a regular coffee maker, so I'll probably like give this away to somebody. Then we have what looks like a mug. Oh, okay. It's a very dusty, like, do y'all see this? It's like dirty. Okay. Peace, Quiet, and Coffee, Dragonfly Inn, Stars Hollow. Oh, I love that. Read like Rory, drink coffee like Lorelai. Cute. I like this. Definitely needs to be washed though. Okay, and then we have Unplug Book Box, Geralt of Rivia, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher, Gooseberry Whetstones and Forest by Jim and Jules. And it's another lotion. Oh, that smells like Sweet Tarts candies. Then we got some papers. We have a bookmark here. To someone special, thinking of you and wishing you all of life's best today, today and always. And it looks like mail or maps and postage marks and stuff. It's cute simple bookmark. There's nothing on the other side. And then we have songs for your story and the photo challenge. And then the book, which I think is paperback. I think typically they do hardcover for YA and paperback for adults. Okay, so this is the Borrega Confessions by Alyssa Palombo. This says, Alyssa Palombo returns to Renaissance Italy with a seductive novel of the ruthless ambitions and decadent desires found in the heart of one of history's most notorious noble families, the Borregas. Rome, 1492. Rodrigo Borrega was ascended to the papacy. As Pope Alexander VI, he is in a position to serve himself and establish his dynasty by using not only those desperate to curry his holy favor, but his very children. Caesar Borrega is the Pope's eldest son. He believed his destiny was to command grand armies. Instead, he must wear the religious robes of the Catholic Church at his father's command. Caesar's resentment never fully fades, even as he learns how to wield a different kind of power at the Pope's side. Madalena Mor Moretti is a servant in the Vatican who finds her faith tested in the presence of the handsome Cardinal Cesar Borrega. She discovers that men of the cloth forsake their vows to satiate their lustful passions as much as any man, and she gives in to her own temptations by becoming Cesar's lover. But the house of Borrega is under siege. European monarchs, Italian royalty, and religious zealots threaten their authority while jealousies and betrayals arise within the family ranks. Privy to the Borrega's sinful secrets, Maddalena must decide whether to become a pawn in the power games of the man she loves or to save her own soul. And if Cesar is going to be the master of his own fate, he will have to sacrifice the truest, purest love he's ever known. This is long. It feels like it's really long. Uh, okay, well, there's a big author's note at the end. 
Uh, but it, the book is 410 pages. It just feels like it's a lot thicker than that. I don't know. This could be really good. But I don't know. This is definitely not my genre. And then we have the card that says the theme for the April box is self-destruction. Okay. Now on to the next box. Okay. This one looks like so. This is the April adult box, self-destruction. Okay, let's move all those worms out of the way. There you go. Looks like that. What is this? Oh, it's a, a koozie and it's got Serenity from Firefly on it. And on the back it says, no power in the verse can stop me, Firefly. It's a very rubbery kind of drink koozie. Fun. I don't, I don't know that this will actually work with anything that I... Well, maybe. I can put my water in it. <laughs> okay, then we have a candle, I think. Silence the Grove Citrus. Theo Farber, Until the Very End Company. So it's a woodwick candle and it's pink with like silvery kind of glitter. It smells really nice. It's very fruity. Okay. Oh, I was like, I don't know if I know what this is from, but Theo Faber of The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. And I gave that book five stars. I loved it. Um, knows a thing or two about destruction. As a licensed psychologist, he is responsible for helping others cope with their own self-destructive behavior. His particular interest in Alicia... Berenson's case leads him on a unique path of self-destruction himself. This woodwick candle was made by Until the Very End Co. exclusively for Unplugged. And they have a website, UntilTheVeryEndCo.com. And you can use Until Co. Unplugged to save 15% off. Then... Famous Pie Shop, Miss Lovett's Savory and Sweet Pies, 186 Fleet Street, London. Guaranteed Worst Pies in London. And it's like a, an oven mitt. And it's got like the silicone or whatever on the inside. Hello. <laughs> I think this is very cute. But uh, again, I don't know what this is from. The Demon Barber of Fleet Street from Sweeney Todd certainly had some questionable behaviors. His partnership with Miss Lovett sent those two, these two on a self-destructive path. He uses oven mint to make something far more tasty than her meat pies. I like that. Then we have, what is this? Remus's Anti-Dementor Mask by Scrub It LLC. Oh, so it's a mask. I thought it was going to be like some hot chocolate or something. Uh, you just add two tablespoons of water to the bag, seal, shake, and apply. And put it on for five minutes. And it comes with a little wooden spoon. Cute! And we have something in a box. I think this is like a moisture thing that was down in the box with this. I don't know. It fell out when I opened it. We have some kind of spray here. It says, uh, saving people, hunting things, the family business. One ounce Winchester approved smudge spray. Use responsibly to cleanse for demons. And there's like some kind of crystal and some kind of plant in there. I don't know if you can see the crystal because it's like pretty clear but uh I know this is from Supernatural but I don't actually know what this is if it's like a room spray or Supernatural sage spray sometimes the family business can lead us towards self-destructive behaviors like eating too much pie Dean particularly if that family business is dealing with all things supernatural this spray the say sprage sage spray may protect you from dark forces while bringing in good energy 
It was created exclusively for Unplugged by Heirloom Candles. And they have a website, heirloomcandles.com. Code SUPERNATURAL saves 15%. Then we got some card stuff. So we have our playlist. Oh, and on the back is our, it looks like our letter from the author. So I'm not going to look at that right now. Um, our little self-care thing we have. Are you engaging in self-destructive behaviors? And uh, there's like a list of self-destructive behaviors and I guess what they are, what they do to you, or I don't know. And then on the back is self-destructive journal prompts. When we are hurt, we sometimes practice harmful offloading behaviors. Which of these have you engaged in? Um, and just kind of, I guess, to help you through that. Uh, we have a signed book plate. We have a bookmark. It's a... What do you call it? When words are marked out so you only see certain words. Um, that's what's going on here. It says, the absence of pain leads to an absence of fear. And the absence of fear lead to disregard for consequences. Vicious V.E. Shawab. And it's the same on both sides. That's cool. And then it looks like a temporary tattoo. Uh, Weave the Lightning by Corey L. Lee. Okay. I'll give that to Xander. And then we have the book. And it is a paperback as well. Oh, Weave the Lightning. That's what this is. Weave the Lightning by Corey E. Lee. Corey L. Lee. Uh, Empire Revolution Magic. Okay. This is also a big paperback. It says, Garrett is the son of Borshkana's Supreme General. Despite his powerful storm affinity and the state's best training, he can't control his magic. To escape the brutal consequences, he flees. Selka is a traveling circus performer, hiding both her link to the underground and her storm affinity from the prying eyes of the secret police. But Garrett's arrival threatens to expose everything, her magic, her family, and the people they protect. The storms have returned and everything will change. Hmm. Interesting. This is a sweeping epic of romance, revolution, elegant strangeness, and magic, elemental magic. That was Jason Heller. On the back has a, like a admit one Slovenny circus ticket. Cute. How big is this? 518 pages. She thick. And then we have the May theme for the adult box is forgiveness. Oh, and here was that signed book plate. Oh, I almost forgot the letter from the author. It says, Dear Reader, I'm so excited that Weave the Lightning is part of Unplugged's April book box. How do the stories we tell about our experiences shape our sense of self? Are we in some way different people when we calm when we're calm versus angry, when we're hungry, when we want to hide. What if that shaped a full mental landscape and you could use it to create magic? I hope you'll enjoy exploring these questions as much as I did. And if that gets too ex existent existent existential, there's a circus, lightning magic, and the terrifying secret police. Happy reading. So I'm going to stick this in the book. Oh, I just noticed that inside this one, uh, the Borgia Confessions, there is a signed book plate as well. Okay, next box. Okay. This one looks like so. This is the May Young Adult box, and the theme is Validation. Let's move... Some of these worms out of the way. Oh, they're going everywhere. 
Okay, it looks like that. There were a lot of worms in that box. Okay, first off we have this little brown baggie. It is Deer Meadow Homestead, an unplugged book box. And uh, it's Laura Jean and the Song Girls Buttermilk Pancake Mix. Yum. Mm. Maybe we'll make this for breakfast. Okay, then we have something to go along with that. We have a cute little wisp. This is our whisk. Uh, this says, find the babysitters. The babysitter's coven. Cute. Um, the babysitter's coven by Kate Williams follows a group of unlikely babysitters that have formed a club. Sound familiar? This fun club, this fun read is reminiscent of the babysitter club books of the 90s. I need to read this book. Oh my goodness. Uh, the main character, Esme, follows her gut and is validated from within. One perk of babysitting, according to Esme, other people's pastries. She loved making her own food creations, namely some strange layered cereals. Use this whisk to make your own food creations. It's an unplugged exclusive fandom and item chosen by hashtag unplugged unboxing photo challenge winner from March. Okay, next we have a candle. This is Fera Darling, Roses and Starlight by Natural Pure Honest. And it says, I would not, could not be broken. Tamed. Okay. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay, oh, and it smells really good. So this is pink uh, Woodwick candle with like big gold flakes of glitter I guess um, and actual roses and it looks like some rose quartz a couple of uh, crystals in here it smells so good and it is almost too pretty to burn it looks like that isn't that just stunning and I smelled it as soon as I opened it mm. Oh, it's not uh, rose quartz, it's amethyst. Um, and they're or It's soy wax, organic rose petals, and amethyst. And it says you can use code UNPLUG to save money at their Etsy shop, Natural Pure Honest. That smells so good. It's gorgeous. Okay, then we have a thing. I don't know. <laughs> There's like multiple things in this little bag. So, Princess Lyra's reusable face rounds. So like, little cloth pads to clean your face, I guess. And then we have this little foil pack of Princess Lyra's toner. It says ingredients, which hazel infused with organic rose lavender and calendula petals, aloe vera, lavender, and rose geranium essential oils. Okay. Neat. I'll put that back in there. Okay, so the both parts came from different people. So for either site, you can use the code UNPLUG to save money. The face rounds is uh, www.epicallyembroidered.com. E P I C A L L Y E M B R O I D E R E D dot com. And then the face toner is make mine homemade dot com. Okay, then we've got some card things. The first one is the importance of self validation and the photo challenge. And then we've got Unplug book box first ever favorite fandoms box. Oh, yeah, I remember them talking about that and then it talks about the uh, Where they're coming along with the the new boxes And then a big print here it says I wish it need not have happened in my time said Frodo So do I said Gandalf and so do all who live to see such times 
but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time given us. J.R.R. Tolkien. Cool. And then we have the book. Oh, I guess there's no playlist with this one. Hmm. Okay, this is Elysium Girls by Kate Pentecost. Never heard of this one. Oh, it's black with this white font. Doesn't seem to be signed or have a signed book plate. This says, Elysium, Oklahoma is a town like any other, respectable, God-fearing, praying for an end to the drought and the dust storms. Until the day the dust soldiers arrive, until the people of Elysium learn it's all a lie. You see, there's a, there isn't only one God. There are two sisters, life and death. And the sisters like to gamble against each other with things like time and space and human lives. Elysium is to become the playboard in a ruthless game between the goddesses. The dust soldiers will return in ten years' time, and if the people of Elysium have not proved, proved themselves worthy, all will be slain. Nearly ten years later, 17-year-old Sal Wilkerson is called upon to lead Elysium as it prepares for the end of the game. But when an outsider named Asa arrives at Elysium's gate with nothing more than a sharp smile and a bag of magic tricks, the frightened townspeople flock to his side. Sal tries to prove himself the best witch to lead Elysium, only to trigger a terrible accident that gets both her and Alyssa exiled into the brutal desert of dust and steel. There, Sal and Alyssa stumble upon a gang of girls. Good lord. It sounds like it's going to tell me the entire book in this synopsis. I don't know, though. Um, there, Sal and Alyssa stumble upon a gang of girls headed by another Elysium exile. As the apocalypse looms, seven girls and one demon will use their gifts to create a cavalry of magic-powered scrap metal horses to ride to Elysium's aid. But they must do more than simply tip the scales in Elysium's favor. Only by reinventing the rules can they beat life and death at their own game. I think they could have said far less and let you learn a little bit more in that synopsis. Uh, though by the time I get around to actually reading it, I won't. I don't read the synopsis right before I read a book. So I will have forgotten by the time I finally read that. Oh, we do have a playlist. It was on our uh, card that shows the theme for uh, June, which is Unity. And, yeah, our song list is on the back of that. Okay, only two boxes left to go. Alright, opening this one looks like this. This is our May Young Adult, no, our May Adult box forgiveness it smells soapy in this box okay that's a lot of worms all right so what's left looks like this okay. what is this fable bands it looks like a cute headband so I'm gonna put it on looks like this Oh, this is a Mistborn headband. I haven't read that either. Is it cute? <laughs> yeah, I haven't read it, but I'd probably wear this anyway. Alright, then we have something in bubble wrap. Unplugged exclusive. Diana Bishop by Sacred Roots Apothecary. Glow face and under eye serum. Okay, ingredients. Solar infused, candula rose, lavender and geranium infused, rose hip and organic jojoba oils with pure essential oil blends, frankincense and cedarwood. And I don't know what this is from. Ooh, I see that there's like a lot of shimmer stuff settled. So, I guess I need to shake it up. And it's... Let's see if you see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's shimmery. Oh, and that's from A Discovery of Witches. And 
these people have a, a Etsy shop as well, Sacred Roots, Roots Apothecary. And if you use Unplugged 2020, you'll save money. Oh, I love this. It's like a little pencil bag. It's Sunnydale, uh, 1997 to 2003. It's so cute. It's a little, just a little denim pencil case. So cute. It's a Buffy thing if you don't know. I love Buffy. Cute. Then we have a... Uh, this is Sleeping Poppies uh, by the Soap Libra Librarian. White Poppy Orange and Magnolia Pillow Spray. Looks like this. Lightly spray directly onto linens and pillows. Can also be used as a room spray. Let me see if I can smell it. This might have been that soapy smell that I was smelling. No, but it smells really nice, and I got it on my lip. <laughs> then we got, I guess this is bath salts, maybe? Oh, it's not sealed, so they're coming out. Uh, Cherry Blossom Bath Salts. This is by Jim and Jules. They're pretty, they're blue. If you notice up here past the little Ziploc thing. It's actually open all the way up. That is what I was smelling that smells soapy. Then we have something in a little Ziploc bag here. It says, Kind Life Essentials, Caro, Missouri. Green tea and coffee bean under eye serum. Ingredients, green tea, organic coffee bean infused olive oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, Almond oil, sandalwood, and chamomile essential oils. Okay. So it's just a little under eye serum. Which is weird to have those in a book box, but kind of cool. And it's from a Daisy Jones. I don't know if it'll actually focus. Oh, there we go. Oh, it has a little roller ball. Smells nice. Then we have some more card stuff. Um, we have the importance of forgiveness. And then the photo challenge. Again, a thing about the favorite fandoms box. And then, I wish it need not have had... Oh. It's the same. <laughs> okay. Then we have their book, and it's uh, another paperback. I actually have an arc of this book <laughs> oh, that it came, I think, from my Amazon Vine thing. It's the Book of Second Chances by Catherine Slee. Its pages will lead to a world of possibilities. And I don't think we have a signed book plate or anything with this one. This says, 10 days, three countries, one chance to spread her wings and fly. Emily can't remember the last time she left her neighborhood or spoke to anyone besides her grandmother, beloved children's book author, Katerina Robinson. After Katerina's death, Emily is at a complete loss until she gets a posthumous letter <clears throat> that will completely change her life. Katerina has revealed that there might be one last lost unpublished manuscript in her wildly popular series. Armed with her grandmother's secret diary and a trail of cryptic book de dedications, Emily travels from London to Paris to Verona, retracing her grandmother's past and discovering more about her family and her own strength than she ever imagined possible. And it says it's for fans of Eleanor Ophelia is completely fine and the keeper of lost things. And I love me a bookish book, so I'm really excited about this one, even though I have two copies now. And then the uh, June theme is Disconnect. And our playlist is on the back of that again. Okay, the last box. Alright, it looks like this. Gonna move the worms while they're down here. 
Because doing it while I'm holding it up by my head just makes a mess. Because they go everywhere. Okay. Looks like this. So we have some colored pencils that I dropped. Uh, becoming an artist. A reckless act of insanity. Oh, here we go. This is the April Young Adult box and the theme is creativity. So colored pencils. Then we have a little notebook here, uh, Dexter. It says, do you see sheets of plastic in your future? And it comes with a little pen. And it's just lined paper. Then we have a candle. Louis Leblanc. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Cinnamon buns and magic. And this one, ooh, this one's like black with gold. I don't even know if it's glitter, but it looks really cool. And it smells really good. It looks like that. Then we have Wonderlost Bath Bomb by Nature's Whimsy. <laughs> the scent is Bite Me, but I don't recommend you actually bite it. It's maybe not the best name for a scent, but it's cute. It looks like the top of an ice cream cone. I can't smell what it smells like though. Wonder Lost by Jen Malone is Every Traveler's Dream. Aubrey Sader Sadler is taken on an adventure through Europe, eating her fair share of fun foods, including gelato, which inspired this bath bomb, and falling for the cute guide in the process. This bath bomb was created exclusively for Unplugged by Nature's Whimsy. And they have an Etsy shop, Nature's Whimsy, and then the number one, and it says use code BOOKS10 to save on their shop. Then we have, oh, I thought it was tea, but it's The Trees Speak Latin, Magnesium Foot Soak. Use, af use after following ley lines through Cabe's water for quick recovery. I think, is that um, the Raven Boys or something like that? It looks like this. I've read the first one and I, I kind of felt like I needed to reread it in order to fully get it. Yes, it is the Raven Cycle. And uh, this is, they, this blah, blah. and these people also have an Etsy shop, Crunchy Good Shop, and you can use save with code Crunchy. Then we have like a uh, a print, but it's like a, you color it, so I guess you use your colored pencils. And it says, "You're just as sane as I am, Luna Lovegood." Is it focusing? No. There we go. Then we have some other card stuff. We have the importance of creativity and um, stop Katniss. And on the back is creative goals, uh, April 2020. On blank, my creative project will be blank. What I need to prep for this is blank. And then you have it like to do multiple ones. Then we have our playlist, which I'll put in the book whenever I get to that. Oh, and on the back is the letter from the author. And then we have a signed book plate, which I'll show in a moment. So then we have our book. The Edge of Anything by Nora Shalloway Carpenter. I haven't heard of this one. Red with white front. Our signed book plate here actually has something written on it. It says, keep going. You're on the edge of something wonderful. And then she signed her name. The letter says, dear reader, all books are personal for their authors in some way. But this one is truly the book of my heart. I'm deeply grateful and honored that Unplugged Book Box selected it to share with you. Like Lynn, I also went through the horror of an undiagnosed mental health condition. The pain of that condition itself and the stigma surrounding it. 
Years later, as I began to heal, I knew I had to write about what I'd been through. Not the actual real life details of my personal situation, but the feelings and emotions that experience brought out. The utter despair that I'd never be okay. That I'd somehow brought it on myself. That I wasn't trying hard enough to get better. That despite having loving people around me, I was totally horrifyingly alone. I also wanted to examine the kind of friendship that could pull a person through such a nightmare and how such a friendship is established. The edge of anything is that examination. We all suffer pain and trauma. I hope this book brings you a slice of hope in these uncertain times. Thank you for reading. Alright, so I'll stick those in the book. And then our April theme was validation. And it was just showing that there would be a kitchen gadget in the Maybox. Okay. So that is all of my bookish subscription boxes. Minus Alcrate and Alcrate Jr. Because I end up doing those as a separate video anyway. So what was your favorite item? Or favorite book that I showed? I think the book that I'm most excited for... Oh gosh. Um... Probably this one that I already have, um, but I'm happy to have a finished copy of it. Uh, but the next book would probably be The Midnight Lie. I'm really excited to read that one. Um, and then my favorite item. Gosh, there were so many good ones. Um, oh, I think maybe... Probably the oven mitt because it's so incredibly useful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!